Hey, it's Joe Cortana, and I want to talk for one minute about Chicago and Chicago's music. I, I, I grew up on music. I grew up in Chicago. And I can't tell you how many wonderful times I spent with my friends in all sorts of places. I, I particularly like smaller venues, but, you know, uh, God knows we've seen a lot of great music. Because Chicago is a great music town. Here's the funny part. Not everybody thinks so. I can't believe that, but it's true. So part of the whole idea here is to educate people into what Chicago has brought and what Chicago has so you can go out and support these people and enjoy your life. So, Dennis, how long have you been with the CJL? Over 20 years. Okay. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? I come from a very small farming community, and um, my musical interests just stem from my father. He's a great musician and a great educator. Um, and the legacy there is that um, you can do both if you have time management and passion and um, I at, at my best I like to think I can do that and I uh, beat myself up when I don't do a good job of that. Well right now you are a musician and a teacher correct? Yes. Would you tell us what you do? I'm a professor at DePaul University where I have the jazz bass studio and I'm with the reach teach and play program out of Ravinia and they're um, Really, uh, I feel very honored to be uh, to be able to do both of those and encounter some of the kids and personalities, engage with them with their interests and curiosities has uh, been one of the highlights of my uh, later years here. Excellent. Uh, could you kind of give us a, an idea of the arc of your career? Uh, did you start playing music when you were a kid? Now you, you talked about your father. Was he your teacher? Yes, I was largely self-taught, and I went to the uh, Playboy Club in Lake Geneva, which was about an hour's drive from my small farm community. When I say farm, I mean I literally would work on the farm in the summers. So my experiences were very divergent, and um, I enjoyed that because the more people you meet, the more you understand life and reality and what you like. And I don't think until you, at least for me, I needed those experiences to form a, a self, a self that would go in the world and, uh, and be able to adjudicate different experiences and um, people and culture. And culture is really what I wanted. I wanted to have the arts always close. And Lake Geneva gave me that opportunity because I got to see Sarah Vaughan. And that was a life-changing experience up close. This is like a midweek uh, evening and she was there with the great Andy Simpkins, unbelievable, timeless Jimmy Cobb on drums and Carl Schroeder on piano. And Andy Simpkins gave me an imperishable advice that night when he told me to learn how to play the piano. So I started going with a house pianist there, a gentleman named Russ Long. And Russ was uh, a mentor to Pat Metheny, I found out later, because Russ was very soft-spoken and very unaffected. So to be around that uh, a piano player and learn voicings and learn harmony and understand that that's the basis for knowing how to make a, a bass line harmonically. And uh, it was that that was experience that I didn't realize till later, unfortunately, how we all are in life. But that's where I realized it was experience dearly bought and dearly regarded and i'm so grateful that the time and space emerged that i could have that um, yeah that was that was my early time then from there um 